Hello everyone, this is Andrew from SciChart and I just wanted to take some time today to talk to you about our iOS chart controls which are coming soon. Um, over the past year we've been working as a team to port uh, SciChart WPF over to iOS and Android. Now what we want to achieve is uh, extremely high performance charts, uh, real-time charting on the iPad, iPhone and Android platforms. And we're nearly there, so I wanted to show you a little bit about what is coming soon. Um, this is our webpage, which will be iOS chart features, and uh, this will be online shortly. And hopefully soon we'll have some videos and some demos as well uh, to talk about what we've done. So without further ado, let me show you the code. Um, so we are using Xcode uh, to code our, um, our project. And we've basically created SciChart as a library, and we've created a demo application. And this is very, very similar to um, uh, to the demo application that we have on WPF. Uh, let's start it and take a look. Okay, so this is my iPhone, and let's start up the SciChart demo. Uh, so this is the SciChart iOS uh, beta demo, which uh, is allowing us to demonstrate some of our basic chart types. And if you click on line chart, here you can see a simple line chart with two series and the ability to zoom in by pinch and zoom back to extents. We also have a simple column chart which has uh, different colored col columns and also the ability to add a tooltip as well as zoom. Uh, we have a simple mountain or area chart which can draw a gradient brush or a solid color brush under a line a candlestick chart which can show different color bars for up and down candlesticks as well as the ability to show a tooltip. We have developed a scatter chart which supports multiple different types of markers, uh, tooltips and the ability to zoom in and out. We've developed a real-time heat map chart which uses OpenGL to render a spectrogram style heat map. Um, so this could be very, very useful in a number of scientific applications, such as um, obviously showing heat plots, um, but also spectrogram, audio analysis, um, as well as sort of other uh, types of scientific instrumentation. Uh, we have a bubble chart, which uh, at the moment the bubbles look a little bit too big, but uh, you know, it demonstrates the principle that we can basically uh, display X, Y data as well as Z for sizing and a band series chart. So this is multiple lines with a polygon drawn between the lines and this is ported from our WPF band series. The next one, this is a real-time ECG monitor uh, which basically is a recorded heart trace that we display on a scrolling chart. It's a few thousand points and it's scrolling pretty smoothly on my iPhone 6. Um, so this is a real-time chart. It should be stressed that SciChart iOS is able to can handle many millions of points um, and is suitable for real-time applications. Which leads me nicely onto this demo, which is the line performance demo. So if I click this button to add 100k points, instantly added to the chart. If I click that a few more times, we've now got 500,000 points on the chart and the ability to zoom in without any loss of data or performance and zoom all the way back out. To take that a step further, I can click this button and add a million points once, twice, three times. So we now have three million points displayed on the chart and the ability to zoom all the way in with no loss of data or fidelity. So a lot of chart controls, they allow you to display small amounts of data and if you want more you have to filter it which results in loss of data but SciChart doesn't do that so we have the ability here to display millions of points without loss of fidelity. Okay so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea about what we're doing on iOS and if you want to find out more what I suggest you do is go to our home page uh, which is www.sidechart.com. Scroll down a little bit and there is a newsletter sign up here for coming soon. So if you open that page, give us your email and we will keep you informed of future updates. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.